Hi. Uh, let's talk about disease management and uh, how can you prevent your body from uh, manifesting and creating uh, any kind of disease? First of all, before we even get to disease management, it's important for us to understand how our human body functions. And the news is that every disease that is manifested in your physical body is created by you. Now, obviously, uh, people get into an argument when I'm uh, telling them this truth and they ask me, how, why would we even choose a disease like cancer or an asthma or maybe arthritis? But the news is that uh, our uh, physical bodies are designed in a manner that uh, when you're born as a child and you're given this physical body, it's in a state of complete ease. What does that really mean? It just means that uh, you uh, physically are vibrating at a very light frequency and you have your energy centers or we call it the chakras absolutely opened without any stagnated dense energies and uh, your body is constantly taking cosmic energy from the universe which is your source energy and it actually uh, gets distributed into all parts of your body and uh, that keeps your body in a state of ease or absolutely great health. But as we grow up uh, from our environmental conditioning and our uh, social conditioning, we begin to actually suppress our negative emotions. Like for example, uh, uh, emotions like anger, emotions like guilt, emotions like fear, these are all negative dense emotions and when you go through situations in your life like for example if somebody has hurt you and you are very angry and upset about it and you've not communicated that particular hurt to them what happens is you keep repeating the story in your mind and these negative energies then get solidified and stagnated in your body and get stored as black energy in your body and our body is a storage house of uh, positive and negative emotions so it depends on wherever your body uh, those negative emotions have got stored as a black block that particular part of your body cannot take in the cosmic energy and from a state of ease it gets into a state of disease now uh, how do you manage this and how do you uh, you know, break this whole cycle of your own negative emotional drama that's going on. Because if you actually start living your life with a little bit of awareness, what you will realize is 24 seven, your mind is selling you negative, insignificant, irrelevant stories about something that happened in the past, something that uh, people did to you, some fear about life, about your future is going on in your mind. So what really happens is you stop existing and living in this moment and you start living either in your past or your future with your uh, negative emotions that are going on. So the first thing what you really need to do to keep, maintain your body in a state of well-being and health is actually start living in the now. So living in this moment, becoming aware that life is happening to you in this moment. The second major thing that you need to invest is in an understanding of your body. Let me ask you a question. How much of you are you really investing in damaging your body at every single second with the negative thoughts that you think, with uh, not forgiving people, with holding on to dense negative emotions inside of your body? My dear friends, this body is a gift to you. Uh, tell me something, where will you live if something happened to your body? Why do you have to wake up one day to uh, uh, understand your body only when you've created an intense disease which is life taking? Why would you not manage it from the time it's given to you? Why would you not keep it in alignment? Uh, do you even know that your body actually regenerates new cells in a cycle of almost 60 to 90 days? What does that really mean? It means that every 60 to 90 days, your old body dies, the old cells in your body die and you actually have a new body. But why are we then creating the same disease in our body or the same problems back is because we've not cut out our existing emotional behavior patterns. So any stagnated negative emotions in your body will create a disease in your body. So uh, 
That's why I uh, like to stress on letting go of all that people have done to you. If someone hurt you, that's okay. I mean, they did what they did. And the best thing is uh, don't store that pain in your body. Don't store that hurt in your body. Don't store that anger in your body because it is eventually going to damage your physical organs. And uh, where are you going to live if something happened to your body? If uh, something happens to your house, you still know you can go to a friend or a relative and tell them, okay, I need to stay in your house for some time but will you be able to live in someone's body not at all and uh, this beautiful body was given to you to actually nurture celebrate cherish and love um, the first thing that you can do is start meditating what happens when you meditate or take deep breaths uh, when we meditate consciously with a choice, what we exactly are doing is we are actually bringing in the cosmic energy into our body. And what this really does is uh, it actually washes away all the negative, stagnated, dense emotions which are stored in any part of your body. So regular practice of meditation for at least 15 to 20 days in the morning, uh, sorry, 15 to 20 minutes in the morning is a very wise thing to do for uh, investing in your physical health. Uh, any kind of physical form of exercise is very, very good because again, when you move your body with exercise, what happens is the stagnated energy start moving and gets dissipated and starts releasing from your body and your body gets detoxed and starts cleansing. Uh, your body, when maintained at the lightest frequency uh, of the energy of love, expanded love and awareness, is uh, actually when it can celebrate true well-being. So uh, my invitation to you in this video is understand your body, understand what are the cells made, uh, that are made, that make up your body and why are they behaving in a manner which are uh, damaging and which are disease cells and how much of you can you invest in yourself with the awareness, intelligence and the knowledge of your physical body that you can maintain it and uh, if you actually understood the design of the human body, you'd be surprised to know that the body was designed in the most intelligent manner. It is not about the body's function and the intelligence of the body. It is about how you handle your body that you do anything to actually ruin it and create a disease. So my dear friends, even if it's a cancer, an asthma or any kind of disease that is stored up in your body and manifested, you have the ability inside of you, you have the power inside of you to actually reverse it and heal it. But uh, that will only start when you start understanding uh, the, and start giving importance to this body because uh, truly your body was born to celebrate, your body was created because it is the temple of your soul. It houses your soul. So in reality, who you really are is a being or a soul who has a body. And uh, would you ever go and throw garbage in a temple or a Gurudwara? You would not do that, right? So my question to you is, why do we then store up all the garbage of the past hurt and the pain into our body? Let it go. And uh, there's a lot of argument with people when they ask me, it's so difficult to forgive people. It's so difficult to let go of the pain and the hurt they caused. Then my only, uh, my question to you is, would you want to store it in your body and create a disease? That's not an option. That's not a choice. Yes, you have the power to communicate to them and let them know and make peace with all of that. But do not ruin your body with a disease inside. Do not do anything to actually uh, damage this body because you have a brilliant human body and this was given to you for functioning of human life. So honor it, celebrate it, love it and invest in it and uh, start meditating every day. Start breathing, start feeling every sense of yours as alive in your body. Talk to your body and see how it responds so beautifully and you will actually understand the intelligence and start learning how to prevent any disease from manifesting in your body.